Hey everyone, so today I actually wanted to uh, create a tutorial where I went through the mechanics of creating this saw that moved along the rails as an obstacle for the player in a platform game. Um, however, when I went to go and create that, I actually found that there's another interesting common mistake um, that I would teach you about, which can be avoided quite easily. So I went ahead and made a new node to represent the saw level here. I was going to in implement the saw in this level. And I dragged in my level scene, which is my level tile map, which I can redraw to design a new level. And then I wanted to drag in a background. So I went ahead and found my background scene over here, background scene, and I dragged it in to the saw level. Let's put it above. And great i got a background and when i uh, tested the level and ran it the background is working just fine so you might be wondering well what is the problem and the problem is this i have different levels here for the to demonstrate the fan the trampoline the falling platforms the very first level with the patrolling mushroom the box level and now i wanted to do the saw level and I've given it a background just like all the others. It works perfectly. But I wanted each level to have a different background. So that's easy enough. I went to my background scene. Here's the texture. I went to my backgrounds folder and I dragged in a new texture. So let's drag in the green one, for instance. And there it is. Great. Save that scene and it will propagate to my saw level. Now my saw level has the green background. And if we run the level, it works perfectly. I have my green background scrolling along. But, and this is the issue, if I now go and look at the box level, the first level, the falling platform level, the trampoline, even the fan level, they all have the same texture. So I can't apply the background to one level without applying it to all the others. So how do I distinguish between them? Now, there are a couple of ways we could solve the problem, but the, the issue is that in the background scene, I have created the root node as a node 2D. And then I've gone and put in the specialized node, the texture rec, which holds the texture for the background. So that really is the problem because the script here is attached to the background. And it makes it difficult to change the background per level. Not impossible, but we want to make our life easier. So the one way that we could solve this problem is we could make a new background scene and just have the texture wrecked as the root because that would expose texture in each scene and you could just change it directly in each scene. So if we go back to the saw level that I was going to start and we de delete our old background node and we drag in the new background scene, BG. Now you can see it is there. Now you might ask yourself, well, why is it not resizing? Well, if we go and look at the BG scene, BG is a texture rect. And I've set in the layout, I've set the anchor to full rect. So if you go and have a look here, it's set to full rect. It should take up the entire rectangle, which it does in its own scene. I've set the stretch mode to tile so that it's tiles across. And um, so you wonder now, when it gets imported into a new level, why is it over here and not taking up the full, the full size? And the reason is because these um, control nodes generally need to have a parent that is a control node or a canvas layer. And in my saw level, it's just a node 2D. That's not a huge issue. We could just resize it by ourselves. And now we can again change change this. So if we have a look in, in box level, it's using green. 
And first level there will still using green, but now that saw level is using BG instead of background, it's using the gray texture. And we could change the texture to, um, let's try the brown one. Now it's changed and I'll save it and it's not going to affect the others. Okay, and if we run it, it runs just fine. Okay, so if you wanted now to fix that little issue where the background does not um, expand when you initially add it, just to show you again, if I delete it, and we add the background scene again, new BG scene, if we add it again, you can see it's, it's not automatically the size of the viewport. If you wanted to fix that issue, um, again, there are a couple ways you could do it, but um, the way I did it was I made a new background scene, which I called new background, and I made the root node a canvas layer. Okay, so the root node is now a canvas layer. Canvas layers by default draw on top of everything else. So the first thing I did on the canvas layer is set its layer to minus one so that it will be behind everything because this is a background. Then I made the texture rect as a child of the new background uh, where we can set its texture. And here I made sure to set that it's a full rect and um, its stretch mode is tile. You can go ahead and change the texture um, here. But now we have the same issue we faced earlier, which is that if I now go to um, my saw level, for instance, and I want to use the new background, which is here, I drag it in, okay, I would not have access to the texture of the texture rect unless I expose it as a variable in the inspector, which I have done, so that you can now go and um, add your own texture. So if you go to a new background for its script, I had to add an export variable here called texture, which is a type texture 2D. And that immediately makes the texture property of the texture rect um, visible in the inspector. Well, in fact, it doesn't do that. It, it just allows you to import a texture. What, what I then do is in the ready function, I set that text, the texture rect's texture. This is the texture rect. I set its texture to the texture that is exposed in the inspector. So whatever's in the inspector will become the, the texture rect's texture. And that solves that problem. So now if we go back to the saw level, which I will get around to making and creating a tutorial for, if you have a look at the new background we've added, you can see now there I can put a texture there. And so I could go to my um, backgrounds here and we could choose perhaps the purple one. I can drag it in that and when we now because it's you won't see it in the editor but when you run it that code will run and replace the texture here with the texture rect default texture so now when you run it this will be purple you can see and it won't affect any of your other scenes either so what this means is that you can now change the textures for each scene to differentiate them from one another um, without, uh, it made your code modular, basically. You don't affect the other scenes. So in general, if your root node is too generic, you tend to limit what can be customized, you know, per instance, and all the instances will share changes made in the base scene. So by using a specific root node, such as texture rect, 
You can then make each instance flexible, self-contained, and customizable in the editor. So the general guidelines, as a rule of thumb, you should use the most specific and relevant node type as the root of your scene, because that way you can customize its key properties, the scene rem remains self-contained, uh, you, avoid, you avoid unnecessary nesting, so there's no dummy container root that generally adds no value at all. So I hope that you found that useful, and watch out for my next video, which shows how to create the spinning saws on the level. See you next time.